424 once again with Potato 2011. The game. And this is going to be another Race Now episode. I don't know what this is, but in the last episode, we went to Chicagoland Speedway with Kurt Busch's number two Miller Lite Dodge, where we got ourselves a top ten or something like that. Remember, we reached our expectations, but couldn't get around Dale and our junior because of tire wear. That episode was requested by Singular Wireless, so shout out to him one more time. In this episode, we are going to Auto Club Speedway with David Gillen's 34 Taco Bell Ford. Now, we also had the option of using the 38 car, but I didn't know whether he wanted me to do 2010 or 2011, but considering we did 2010 in the last episode, I decided to change it up a bit. Auto Club Speedway in this game only has the day race because the night race didn't last that long, though I wish it would come back. If there's one thing I can say about how this track races in this game, it's kind of awkward because the AI, they can go really aggressive into the turns and then stay quite balanced throughout the entire thing. While you, on the other hand, you have to take a really conservative entry and hope that you get a good runoff and eventually get to the point where you can't do anything and you just got to hope for a caution. And knowing these AI, I'm probably going to get ass rammed towards the end of the race and we'll have a caution, but all the past few cars at that restart. We have five tracks left in this race now series. Those are Phoenix, Michigan, Kansas, Texas, and Las Vegas. Uh, kind of makes sense that 1.5 uh, mile tracks are the ones that are left. But, you know, Phoenix and Michigan, I think those are the... The, the best options before we get to the end of this series. We still got quite a few drivers to choose from. Just look through the playlist and you can find out uh, which ones there are. And if you haven't yet requested an episode and actually have had it become an episode, then you can do that now. You'll be the first one. But yeah, same stuff as always. 42 opponents, very hard difficulty. 14 laps because that's what we did at Homestead. I feel like this track is similar length to Homestead. I feel like this was the best choice because we did like 12 laps at tracks that were even longer to get around than this one. I guess we'll do 14 laps for Michigan as well. Um, yeah, tire wear and fuel use is probably not going to be that big of a factor because it's never been. Caution flags, of course. I really hope that we have a caution because I'm going to need it. And not like halfway, maybe halfway through the race would be a good place for a caution for me. But here are my stats of this track. I've raced here uh, two times. Average finish is 16th. So our goal in this episode, is to finish 16th or better. That is a kind of a low expectation, but for this track, I guess not. Oh, pardon me. I was just uh, observing this game similarities to a potato I pulled out from a cabinet in the kitchen. Here it is, the Taco Bell Ford number 34 car. Think outside the bun. What kind of marketing technique is that? Not all fast food comes in a bun. Whatever. Uh, it's just keep hitting the brakes and crap. That's one thing I remember to do. You have to hit the brakes more than everybody else for some reason. You have to depend on your runoff more than anything else. It's hard to depend on your runoff at this track whenever there are cars on your outside because then they just get in the way and your cars always tight no matter where you go. They're brake checking each other like crazy going to that first corner. Well, the third corner, not the first corner, whatever. Uh, I want to pull out from this situation, but I can't because my car won't let me. I'm slowing down so I can dive down below, but my car doesn't do crossovers. It's too busy thinking outside the bun. Crossovers are considered inside the bun at this point in the LP. Uh, why is the camera shaking? I swear, like, the uh, the camera going into the corner was shaking or something. It was weird. Alright, come on. Oh my goodness. We just barely touched Joey Logano. All sexually with their tacos. Uh... About to be in the top 25, I see these two, Dale and our junior and whoever, hitting the brakes really hard in the corner. Turn. Turn. I don't know how to turn. I'm turning, but it's not turning. And slowing down apparently doesn't solve the problem either. Why is all, all of these 10 guys right here just slowing down? Well, it wasn't 10, it was more like 5, but everybody just slowed down at once. We're in 20th. Okay, this is good. We're getting close. Of course, I really do want to caution about halfway into this race because once they're not grouped together anymore, nothing can happen for you. I wouldn't mind causing a caution as long as it's dumping somebody that I don't like. I don't have a problem dumping any driver I don't like in an Asker game. It's a video game. Ah! Uh, slow down. I'm slowing down, but yet somehow the car behind me is still taking the corner absolutely just fine at a faster speed than my car can. This is ridiculous. Get them indicators off. Uh, I'm getting these draftings at the top of the screen. I'm not even noticing them, by the way. 
uh, all kinds of mini game crap. We still have them kind of grouped together right here. So maybe we can make something out of this. Turn. Turn! Oh my god! Going faster! And yet their cars turn just fine. Mine don't. Uh, I mean, I know it's like, well, what, what's the worst that can happen is you dump Alan near, but no, in this game, whenever you, you collide with someone else's quarter panel with your front end, you get dumped. I don't even know, that, that does not make sense whatsoever, but that's what happens in this game. It's kind of like NASCAR 06 in these circumstances. We're going to push Juan Pablo on Toya, and I'm going to hit the brakes for some reason. I didn't time it very well or something, I have no idea. Trevor Bain's getting a run on me, but we're going to get back on the gas in time. Juan Pablo Montoya got a great corner, apparently, because of me, but we're coming back on him. Kind of amazes me that we've done this without a caution. I'd really love a caution right now. We'd probably get a top five or something. I don't know. Ooh, that was a perfect corner. That was a perfect corner for what this game wants me to do with my car, that is. Maybe we can catch Jeff Ford on our own. I don't know. For all we know, tire wear might just be a factor in this race, considering it's rather lengthy. Or at least I'm expecting it to be now. Oh, 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 oh my god, Trevor Bain. You guys being able to take corners way more aggressively than I can. We're catching Jeff Gordon a little bit. I'm using Trevor Bain's trap so I can slingshot back around him. Okay, come on, turn, turn. I cannot get... Oh, 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 Montoya, you fuck. Why you do this? Uh, what, what? Montoya, what in the hell? Do you, you, why? I saw, you saw that. That was all him, and my, my drive, I have to control the car and get off the track and crap, but... He dumped me. He flat out, he intentionally and all purpose dumped me. Thank you, Montoya. We yeah, got a caution, and now they're all bunched together, and hopefully I can make something good of this restart. But still, that was <laughs> the most intentional AI stupidity I've ever seen. My car couldn't finish the corner, and they started checking up off of it. But we're going to be getting to the top ten going to turn three here. Turn off them identificators. I want to focus on my turn. Oh, my God, Kevin Harvick. Good Lord. Oh, uh, he, he, he started losing his shit. I mean, not that Kevin Harvick ever had his shit to begin with, but, you know. <laughs> We're in the top five. I, I literally just said this a while ago. If we get a caution, we can make it into the top five. Oh. This is turning out so well. I really hope that I don't make the slightest mistake and just ruin everything. Into fourth we go. Oh, I think we have too high to actually dive it in like I always do. Uh, uh, car, 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 turn, turn. Okay, let's just uh, not turn. I see what you mean, like, my... We don't do the turning thing. That was disappointing. We're still in the top ten. This is nice. We can still make something happen. Okay. I keep making bad entries. D Denny! Denny! I have to drive like an actual person, not not a computer. Why? Uh, everybody just wants to sexually harass my cock off. Uh, I have to slow down my car to get it to turn. Why don't the AI just, why can't they have to do that too? We're still in a decent position, good track position and all that. I want to get behind Greg Biffle. Okay, that was a stupid decision for a restart, but there you go. Okay, I uh, didn't get on the brakes in time, but let's just hold the bottom. I really do want to just do everything right, right now. Yeah, I just want to not make mistakes for the next three laps and finish well, but what what keeps on happening these guys just crashing into me in the corner and dumping me on purpose or whatever it is. I don't need it anymore. Can this car cooperate just for a little longer? I mean, it hasn't really been cooperating that much all this race, but I really want this because this, this is like one of the hardest tracks in the game, you know, so it mean a lot to me. Okay, we got two cars. Throw it into the corner, hitting the brakes really hard. It won't start turning. Hi, Tony Stewart. Oh my goodness, Tony Stewart almost killed me. I mean, it's a good choice driver to get killed by, to be honest. I mean, I'd rather be killed by Tony Stewart than anybody else in this entire field of cars. Ah, I'm trying to pass two cars. Said I got passed by one car. Ugh, don't call me baby. Call me a taco. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, are you gonna, no, you're not going to no. finish the corner. We're going to drive up into Kevin Harvick because my car can't finish the corner. White flags out. One lap to go. Uh, this pass on Tony Stewart will get me into sixth. I don't have enough minimum to finish it. I'm trying to side draft him, but this game is, you know, too stupid for side draft to honestly. Uh, come on. Hitting the apron. Okay, we're going to finish the corner with this. We're going to... Okay, we had the corner finish like that. Uh, if I can just get a good turn three. Actually, we're going to have a run. Please don't run me over in turn three, Tony. Okay, come on. Ooh, okay, I just didn't want him to rear end me. I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, come on, finish the corner. And he wants to work with me as we come to the checkered flag. That's the stupidest bull crap ever. He, he wants to work with me as we come to the checkered flag. That's my Tony Stewart right there. My, my Tony? My Tony Stewart. I don't know what else I was about to call him. We got sixth place at Auto Club. Oh, this was a really good episode. I didn't wreck myself intentionally. I, I tried hard not to get wrecked and still got wrecked in all those situations, and it kind of helped me. That was the most ridiculous AI situation ever where Juan Pablo... I, oh, my God. Um... The most ridiculous situation in terms of AI performance ever where Montoya just literally drove up onto me and dumped me whenever there's not really rivalry in this game. But, you know, it helps you whenever they do that at that point in the race. But, yeah, I was just... We came off of turn two and everybody just started wrecking themselves. That happens after the races in this game for some reason. Martin Trix Jr. won in his Napa Toyota that's owned by Michael Walter Racing. Wow, that's not something we see very often. Jimmy Johnson finished in third, Jeff Burton second, Kyle Busch fourth, Clint Boyer fifth, there's us in sixth, Tony Stewart seventh. I, won I wanted to get a top five really badly, and for a second we did have it, but yeah, just not, oh my god. I can't focus on the race results if you guys are doing this. Like I said earlier, we only have five more tracks to go to in this Race Now series, and if you have not yet requested an episode and actually have it become an episode, those tracks are the ones that you have to pick from, as well as all the drivers that we haven't raced with yet in the playlist. So, if you're the very first one that hasn't requested an episode and you request one of the ones we haven't done yet, then you'll be the one for the next episode. Uh, this was a really good one. And in some situations it was stupid, so, but sometimes stupid is good. I would know, because I'm stupid. See you next time, that's that, and episode over.